I recently saw the movie Breaking In and I just thought it was terrible so this is 5 minutes of what it's about. The movie is about a mom with a stereotypical teenage daughter who uses her iPhone way too much and a son whose house gets broken into by 3 strange men. It's her job to stop the burglars that have her kids held hostage by taking out each bad guy one by one and trying to sneak back inside her own house. Except she gets her back thrown to a tree, smacked, her face slammed on a door, kicked in the ribs, hair pulled, choked, punched, gets choked again, gets her hands stomped on, and ending with her face looking like none of that have ever happened to her. Let's go back to the stomping scene. So the man's attacking her daughter and the woman's got the gun with the right hand. The guy looks, the woman looks, the guy goes, and she's about to get the gun with her left hand. That makes no sense. In the other scene, she got the gun with her right hand. So, what? But anyways, this movie is extremely dull. It literally spends its half time of actors walking slowly and quietly while the suspenseful music gets, just gets higher and higher. You literally lose interest and just keep looking at the time to see when the movie's finally ending. This movie has scenes that absolutely make no sense. You have a woman standing between the ledges and he can't even see her fingers sticking out. The setting is extremely quiet with the suspenseful music just rising higher and higher and he can't even hear her breathing or he can't even feel the presence around him. He just thinks, oh, there's nothing there. So he walks away and the woman just decides to let loose and fall to her feet making a big sound while the man continues to walk slowly in the hallways like he heard nothing, absolutely nothing at all. This movie contains scenes that make absolutely no sense. For example, this guy is about to turn good. He doesn't want to shoot the woman. There's no reason she has to die. Which Speedy Gonzalez replies, They all gotta die. In the movie, they portray this burglar as a stereotypical Latin gangster who's a psychopath and he's the only one who kills. You don't want to do this. Please. I don't know, man. Do it or you're fucking next. But for some reason, the woman takes advantage of the situation by pushing the guy who was about to turn good, having his head smashed to some rocks, thus having his dead body to break her fall. So the woman saves the kids, gets inside a car, and backs up on the stereotypical Hispanic gangster. But for whatever reason, they go back into the house instead of driving away, fighting off the last man and finally closing the door. Everyone is safe. The ending to this awful movie is finally over. But then the dad comes home from work, sees all the dead guys on the floor, and decides to check up on the family. But instead of the mom opening the door, letting him in, the dad gets knocked out by the last burglar. The burglar uses the dad as ransom to trade him for money that the family owns. You gotta get out of here. She then tells her daughter to proceed leaving the house, taking her brother and her dad. Simple instructions. So just follow them and you'll be okay. As the family leaves, the mom decides to bargain with the burglar. He shoots her, then the money burns. Or he takes the money and leaves them alone. That's the bargain. If that's the bargain, what's the point of the mom wanting to burn the money? Just give it to him. That's all he wants, that's what you're asking for. But as the bargaining continues to make absolutely no sense, the scene cuts off to this. Clifford, wait! Wait! Dad! What? They forgot the dad. The bloody dad who's in front of the door. How could they miss that? So the burglar leaves with the money and decides to leave the woman alone. Thus having this movie happily ever after. But then, the stereotypical Mexican guy comes back from the dead to kill his co-worker after we clearly saw him get ran over. But then the actress mom had enough of this bullshit ass script and wants the movie to end, so she breaks character and stabs the actor in real life so she can finally go home. Thus, ending this horrible, god awful movie. This movie tries to take notes like the 2013 movie The Call starring Halle Berry where the girl gets kidnapped and it's up to Halle Berry's amazing acting skills to save the day. Or in the movie Kidnap where Halle Berry stars in a role of an irresponsible mother who loses her son at a park when she realizes that her son's been abducted by kidnappers and it's up to her to save the day as a mom. Or in No Good Deed when an African American mother lets in a homeless man to stay in for the night but then turns out to be a serial killer. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what is up with these African-American ladies and their kidnappers? But yay, women empowerment. Also, I forgot to mention the mom's boobs were very distracting. They were too bouncy and got really annoying when she ran. I don't think she's MILF material though, she's too sweet. Yes, I know I'm gay, but I know that what MILF is. I've seen them in videos before on the internet, like... Um, Fergie's music video, you know, milk money with the hot milkman and milfs. But anyway, back to the task in hand and up with this milk discussion. I give breaking in five abused mother's Snapchat stickers out of ten. It was boring. It was awful. That's all.